Good day, everyone. There seems to be a debate going on over whether or not ultimate truth can really be known, or even whether it exists. And I didn't even realize it was an issue until I had had a few discussions with people about truth and about reality. I've talked to people who say reality is completely subjective. It's uh, really not something that you can uh, put down on paper. It's for each individual person. They have their own reality. And that um, it's all one big mystery. And then another person will say, no, there's only one reality. There's only one truth. It's the same for everyone, but we just don't know it. So we choose to ignore it. I don't know what I believe in that situation. And I don't even really know if it can be vocalized in the sense that um, I don't know if a person can really prove it one way or another, so it becomes kind of irrelevant. But people seem really adamant about what they believe, and they get very emotional about it. Um, I've heard people, I like to watch the, the discussions that go on on certain forums or like on YouTube, certain videos, you know, look down at the comments section. And sometimes they're nasty, but sometimes they're really funny because they get so enlightened. Uh, back and forth about what's true and like two really good people arguing about totally valid points and missing the whole boat and um, I'll say no this there's one way there's one way to learn there's an ultimate truth I guess my question here is is there any way to learn that truth I mean is there any way for um, do people think that there's a particular moment in life where you're just like got it all right cool I can go on I mean that happens for a lot of people a lot of people just Religion's a good example. A lot of people read a Bible and they become, uh, they become Christians. They they feel very strongly about it, and they're like, aha, and that's their truth. So is there like a Bible for life or for the universe uh, for people who aren't religious, like a spiritual seeker or a, a truther or whatnot, to finally say, okay, I found the reality. Uh, this is what matters. So when you break it down into all its categories and subcategories, such as uh, you know, all the, uh, the bankster fraud that goes on, the poisoning of our food supply, the GMOs, the, the poisoning of our waters, the, the stealing of our waters, and all the different pollution and things that happen. And then on top of that, that there's natural disasters, environmental uh, changes, uh, our sol solar maximum is, is too low and our, our atmosphere is shrinking, and you know, all these weird little things that you can put together and say, Jesus, man, we're fucked. So, ultimately, when you start speaking of whether you're not can, you can know the ultimate truth, you have to break the truth down to the one most important category, the categories that matter. And that's what I'm starting to realize is certain truths aren't even worth acknowledging because even if they are true or aren't, A, you can never prove it one way or another, and B, even if you do, there's no way you can do anything about it because it's not an issue that can be resolved such as like an incoming planet or an asteroid or whatnot. And see that fear of even worrying about it is, is, is or not the fear, but the, you know, the energy put in, in trying to figure something out that can't be figured out is, is, um, is wasteful of energy. So uh, it's never wasteful to seek, but once you've seen the things that you can't find the truth, like say finding, you know, positive thinkers know how to deal with life on the sense that if you have a problem, you know how to look at you look at the positive in it no matter what happens you know uh, you know my car won't start oh well maybe I would have gotten an accident on the freeway on the way to work you know I look at every bad situation as having a positive so what I'm doing is taking away all these other things I can't do anything about and I found to worry about the problems I can deal with and don't worry about the unworry I mean I used to worry about everything I mean a few years ago even I was still working on my nerves and trying to deal with stresses uh, and, and I'd heard meditation works, this works, yoga works. Really, it's just practice. There's no one particular thing you can do to change the way you think, but, but it's just a matter of waking up every day and slowly making small changes until everything's, every, nothing bothers you, really. Um, but I started leaving out these little problems I couldn't do anything about and just putting energy into the ones I could. And now I do the same thing kind of with knowledge, like these, you know, conspiracy theories or, uh, you know, uh, earth catastrophes and planetary alignments or solar problems and, and galactic waves and whatnot, things that I can't do anything about that may be harmful um, or may be good, I, I, I try to just not acknowledge. 
even along the UFOs. UFOs are a perfect example. I'm, I was used to be totally into that stuff. You know, UFOs and aliens and whatnot. I learned all about the different reptilians and the greys. And, and I was like, wow, this stuff's interesting. And then one day I realized, you know what? There's nothing, there's no way that someone can prove to me that aliens exist until I see one. That's the only empirical evidence that will work for me. Um, I can see a thousand pictures and ten thousand videos. It's just, it's not that I don't believe they exist, it's, it's just that it's not worth my time to put energy into researching something I can't see. So when the UFO finally comes and lands in my backyard and I'm like, right on, meet, the, meet him, then I can think about that. But there's a lot of different information going on, so my ultimate, ultimate point in this particular video is to say that there are so many issues to contend with. If we could really break all these different issues down into just a few important categories and all the YouTubers and all the truthers could really put their energy into these few things. Say things that are really, really things, either if they're negative things or consequences, either pick the ones that we can do something about and then take action. Or if there are things that people worry about, just if it's something that you, you know, if it's just for the sake of worrying, say worrying about Nibiru coming and crashing into the earth, oh my god. Um, you know, uh, those people I've found won't do the scientific studies. They won't do the research or the homework. You know, there's a few that have, but most of them just want to believe it. And I've understood that. I understand the belief in fear. It's an addiction like anything else. But for the rest of those out there who are open-minded and willing to change for a little bit of a, you know, uh, a little bit of betterment of the community on YouTube, I urge you all to pick issues that are important. Now, I just ran. I ramble about shit because I'm. I don't have. A, I don't have a particular issues that I contend with. I just like to consider everything. But there are a group of you who are really into what you do. So, if you're into a particular category, you don't have to switch categories. Just focus really hard on what you do and what you do know, because all the little speculations get tossed up, and then everything gets confusing, and we don't know what the hell's going on. So, put your energy into the truths that you can know, and. Uh, Everything just kind of flows. So, good day to everyone. I hope everyone is doing superb on this April day.